So in my uh, Pokemon creature redesign review series over on YouTube, I talked about some of the worst Pokemon designs of each generation. And since creature design is something that I have a lot of fun with, I decided to get my hands dirty and make new versions of some of those worst designs. So welcome to the very first live stream, or if you end up watching this on YouTube later, the very first episode of my new redesign series. Uh, we are ignoring Generation 1 since I'm already working on all of those over on the new 151. Links are down below in case you're interested. But we're starting with Gen 2, and my Twitter crowd voted for Sunflora as our first challenge. And I've actually seen a lot of Sunflora redesigns already, but the vast majority of them, they're not really redesigns of Sunflora itself. There are concepts for a Mega Sunflora or for an Alolan Sunflora, you know, that kind of thing. So they're a lot freer, a bunch of them added different types or, you know, whatever. So that's not what I want to do today. My idea is to make a new Sunflora that still fills the exact role of the original Sunflora. So this new design, it, like, it shouldn't affect Pokedex entries. The two big things that I want to fix about Sunflora are its weird bulging body and the floppy feet and the arm leaves. I also want to give Sunflora uh, some more interesting colors because Sunkern has these really uh, nice stripes. It like, gives some uh, variation to the design and of course the stripes in Sunkern are a reference to Sunflower seeds, so they wouldn't necessarily make sense on Sunflora but Sunflora just ends up being this really plain design. And uh, I do have some sketches that I've already done, so I do know roughly where this is going, but I'm hoping that you guys in the chat will still be able to uh, give me some live feedback. So here's the basic uh, layout of the new Sunflora that I'm thinking of. So we'll have a head up here somewhere, and Let's say the, the body goes out something like this. Uh, so that angle is a little off, but this is basically what I'm picturing it. I think the uh, petals on the head need to be a little bigger than they are in the original. So something like that. And we'll give it arms here that are maybe, that look a little stiffer, I guess, that look, don't, look quite as soft so something like that and uh over here we can do like something like this this is the basic layout that i'm thinking of uh i don't think i'm gonna give it actual feet i think i'm just gonna leave the the legs you know kind of like as if they were going into the ground my intention is to do it in a in a style that sort of uh, imitates the style from Let's Go, but not necessarily uh, very strictly. And I'm fairly certain, like about the uh, about the body, like maybe it'll have to be a little thicker than what I've got it here. But for the most part, I'm pretty sure this is where it's gonna go. I think it'll have these kind of flat feet, uh, sort of, sort of like Cacturn, but in a less, because Cacturn, like, it gets quite wide at the bottom, right? So maybe not, maybe not quite that much, but along those lines. I, re I actually really like Cacturn as a design. It's not, you know, as much of a standout design as, as some others, but the body is quite slim. Maybe I should make it a little thicker, but I think I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep going for now and then I'll make adjustments. Uh, once I have a more complete picture of it. I'm getting actually the inspiration of the of the arms I'm getting from this, from the Sunflora uh, sprite from Generation 2. Because to me, this version actually doesn't look floppy. You know, it, this compared to this, this it seems to have no structural <laughs> quality to, to the leaves, like the leaves are just growing out of the body, which just doesn't look good to me. This version actually seems to have more of a stem, more of a, more of an arm to it before it becomes a leaf, so that's the way I'm taking this. The, the Braloom approach to Sunflora, that makes it more, uh, more dragon-like, I guess, uh, more, more raptor-like, 
is, is actually something that I've seen a lot of people do. Um, to me, that just... that kind of departs from Sunflora being Sunflora a little bit. You know, that's a good concept for a Mega Sunflora or for an Alolan Sunflora, like I was saying earlier. But I don't think... I think Sunflora just... It should, as much as possible, I guess, uh, follow the general shape of actual sunflowers. Which is why I think this, a long slender body works well. So this is the first time that I'm having people watch me draw, and it's a little unnerving. <laughs> I'm going to make the face on a separate layer because I imagine this is going to take quite a few iterations, and I'm actually going to pull up... I want to have a, a good look at how original Sunflora is done. Sunflora's original uh, petals, they are like... kind of like that, right? But to me, they don't look like sunflower petals, because they are very short, and like sunflower petals are much longer, it's like something like that. I think would be more more appropriate but I don't but at the same time I don't know if that's going to make it uh, too unsunflora esque <laughs> if you know what I'm seeing all right I think this is the paddle style that I'm gonna go with I'm just gonna copy this around and go with that I'm just gonna do it this way, and I really hope it works out, but I don't know if it will. Hmm, the petals might actually be a bit too big. Might have to make the, pa the individual petals a little smaller, and also make the head a little bigger to kind of compensate for it. Yeah, I think this, I think this works. You can tell me if you disagree, but I think this works. I'm actually going to move the body down a little bit. That's good. And I will add a hint of a neck here. The rest of the neck would be hidden anyway, so that's okay. All right, let's try for a face here. And original Sunflora has a face that I, that really bothered me, and I couldn't figure out why this face bothered me so much. It was only when I had a closer look at Sunkern that I realized that the difference is that Sunkern has the like the top lip from Sunkern faces is like the, the, the usual way, right? It's the tips are up and the middle is up and then you have this these dips uh, on the sides. It's kind of like a cat mouth, how you draw a cartoon cat mouth. With Sunflora, it's actually the opposite and that's why it just looks so weird to me. <laughs> I think this, I think I'm gonna change uh, Sunflora. I'm basically gonna have Sunflora's face be the opposite of that. Uh, I'm gonna like flip it upside down kind of thing. So let's go back in here and try that. Yeah, so instead of doing the eyes like this, cause that's a Sunflora face that I don't like, I think I'm going to actually do it like this, you know, this, the sun current way, but then instead of doing the upturned eyes, uh, just to keep it consistent in terms of the shape, I think I'm actually going to do it like this. And this works for me because it's it's more happily like it. It looks more like it's basking in sunlight. I think that's the difference to me. That this looks more like it's just enjoying sunlight. I'm gonna put the lines on here just as a, more as a guide because I don't actually know if I'm gonna keep these lines. I'll show you what I have in mind in a, in a bit. I just have to just want to put the face on first. In terms of the colors, I want to I would really like to have more of a reference to Sunkern in there. This is what I'm thinking for the face or for the pattern of the face that it would be striped. But there's two problems here. One is that uh, Sunkern would have, you know, the middle area be the dark area. There would be the, the stripes would be the dark parts. And I think that actually works nicely. I think that looks 
pretty good. But at the same time, actual sunflowers have, you know, the entire middle is brown. It's, it's not light colored the way Sunflora has them. So the other option that I thought of is to actually reverse the colors so that the stripes are the yellow parts and the main section, the I guess primary color of the face, is the dark part. Which I think still works pretty well, but the thing is that because the stripes refer to sunflower seeds, it also doesn't make too much sense to have stripes on the face at all. So, you know, the other option is to just remove all of this and just make the entire middle dark and try to come up with with uh, some some more interesting stuff elsewhere. But I don't know about that. So while you consider that question, I'm actually going to edit the arms a little bit because I think they might be a bit too big. Maybe I can move them down a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, right? It's difficult to come up with a pattern for the face that makes sense. So, ah, well, I do have another idea for where to put the, the stripes. And this is probably something that I will do regardless of what the face looks like. But I think that it can be down here, that this can have some stripes down here. Well, not stripes, but like spiky pattern thingies like that. And then, you know, this, this bottom part is brown, which would uh, help kind of imply that they that they would be in the ground. And then it also gives a little bit of, of grounding, I guess, to the design itself. It kind of gives some weight to the bottom. But I'm still not sure about the face. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Uh, and I'm gonna start inking, I guess, the rest of it. But if you, if you come up with a better idea, uh, let me know. If not, I think I will do with the reverse stripes so that the main area is, is dark and then the stripes are yellow. But if you come up with something else, let me know. Ethan is worried that my idea for a face doesn't look enough like a sunflower. To me, the most beautiful thing about the flower is the fractal shape that forms naturally in the center. Yes. No, I agree. Uh, I, re I do like that. But I spent some time yesterday trying to think about how I could translate that to, to a Pokemon design, because it has to be fairly simple. And, you know, the way that the, uh, the way that it gets darker towards the middle, the center of, of the flower, it doesn't really help either because it gives, uh, even if it's just done exclusively in, in patterns, it would give the impression of that middle being deeper and that, like, that kind of depression of the middle would also detract from the look of that middle as a face, right? Because we ex expect faces to, to be outwards and not, like, dip in the middle. You know what, I'm actually, uh, I was forgetting that I meant to do this, but I think the body needs to be a little wider. So I'm going to do that uh, before I, whoops, before I start inking stuff. Oh, you know what? I actually really like this because uh, it's making the, uh, the bottom of the legs flare out more and it just, it makes it kind of look like bell-bottom jeans which are very hippie, which is super fitting for Sunflora. So... Uh, alternating circles of color might be able to convey the Sunflora look while uh, also being the astrological symbol for the sun. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, okay, and that actually adds to another idea that uh, Indigo, my wife, uh, offered yesterday. The base of the petals is what I'm trying to say. 
should uh, be a darker color, like an orange or something. And if we do concentric circles for the inside of the face too, I think that could actually work really well. I was afraid that it wouldn't really help, that it wouldn't uh, do much for the Sunkern look that I was trying to imitate. So, this is how I'm seeing it, but maybe you uh, disagree or have a better idea. Is that each circle would actually be a little darker. Something like that with, you know, going from yellow on, on the outside to a fairly dark brown in the middle. Uh, another option would be to... Uh, alternate it so that this layer would be yellow. Actually, no, I think that layer needs to be brown. But this layer could go back to being yellow. Okay, so this is clearly very, very rough. Gives it a bit of a lion look, and I'm not sure that I'm really into it. This one might be better. Or stripes. Oh yeah, I, I totally forgot about this, but I actually did mean to make... Where's the face? There's the face. To give it an open mouth rather than a closed one, because that's how it's always been depicted, and so is Sunkern, so... Something more like this. Yeah, I could I could also give some uh, some color to to the leaves, but I don't think that uh, I'm gonna look it up now. Uh, I don't think that sunflowers have much difference in in their in their colors. I think stem leaves. I think it's all basically the same color. Yeah, yeah. I'm not really seeing any basis for it, so I could do it by you know just just cause just to make it a little more uh, a little more interesting but all right I'm gonna begin with the faces since that's the part that's most uh, in need of it I guess uh, I think this is the these are the petals that would be in front. I think that's looking okay. Okay, this I need to change because this isn't quite working out. I think I need more of a transition between how, between which ones are in front and which ones are behind. All right, that's a better transition there. How's that looking? Oh, actually, I want to flare it out a little extra. Make it even more like bell-bottom jeans. That's good. I think I might need to actually smooth out the legs a little bit. And maybe, uh, maybe make some of those lines a little thicker. Let's see, it's January 26th, so I'm about five months from, from being a 30-year-old man. That was actually a kind of a scary realization. Not really scary, but like, it was something that I realized uh, at the end of last year. Is that this year, uh, 2019, I will become... A married 30-year-old man, and that's, you know, that makes me sound like a real adult. And here I am, live-streaming Pokemon art. Cool. So, how does it look? Oh, I'm, I'm just missing a couple of sections there. Hang on. Yeah. 
There you go. It looks quite hippie. I like it. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. If this is what it's doing, that's okay with me because it's like, it's a hippie. I actually considered giving it like, like some sort of pattern that would, that would imitate like sunglasses and like a headband. It didn't look good, but I do, but I did sketch it out. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, which is why I like that, that it has the like bell bottoms. All right. Ethan, I have a feeling you're asking me if I like pizza so that because you're gonna go and buy pizza. Because that's what it was last time. You asked me if I like ice cream because you wanted to go get ice cream. And you know, that's kind of mean because yeah, of course I like pizza, but you're not gonna get me pizza. You're gonna go get yourself pizza. You're just being mean to me. You're just taunting me with pizza. I, I like roasted sunflower seeds. They're not something I... Uh... I eat regularly or anything like that, but I do like them. I also like sun kern. Although I've never tried eating one. I'm sure they'd be pretty good roasted though. Let's figure out those, uh, those face colors. All right. Which one of these is better and should I try something else? The stripes with the light brown. <clears throat> Let's find out. How's that? So that's the other thing I thought of, uh, where it's just getting darker towards the middle, but I don't, I don't think it works. The other thing is that this isn't gonna be a hard line because it's gonna be blended. And I can, I can do that now, actually. It's gonna be more like this, and then the inside ones are gonna be like this too. So something more like that. So this one even softened like that doesn't quite do it for me. So I think, I think I'm gonna take this one out of the running. Uh, this one in the softer version looks less bad, I think, but it, it does have the problem that I was, uh, that I was afraid of earlier, where it makes the middle of the face like get pushed back. It like, it makes it look dipped and you know, even if shading is going to counter that a little bit, I don't think that it's going to fully counter that. So that could be a problem. I do like this one, but I seem to be the only one. So I'm going to take that one out too. And this one just also isn't really doing it for me. So I'm also going to take it out. So this is, a, this is the option that, that we're at right now. Thank you for all of your ideas though. Uh, it was, this was, this was the part that I was, I guess, least uh, settled on, but I will start doing some shading now. It's one of the, the let's go style, at least the way that I've, you know, figured out how to do it. It's one of those things that it doesn't quite look right until you get to the very end. And then it's like, it all comes together. Sharon, I hope that you're just being funny because Changing the pedals at this point would definitely be uh, a pain. <laughs> so I hope that that it's not really that obvious that the pedals are copy pasted and rotated. No, Ethan, don't make me restart. It, it really comes together when you when you color the lines, that actually makes a huge difference, which is kind of surprising, I think. Like, I'm not too concerned about actually imitating the Let's Go style. That's just the kind of basis that, I, that I'm doing this in. 
If it doesn't look like a, like let's go art, I'm totally okay with that. The question is more, does it look good? But like, you can see how much of a difference just, just that makes, right? Like, just a small change, mostly on the leaves, and it just looks so much nicer. I don't really have a problem with Sunflora, like, being chunky, really. It's just that it doesn't, like, sunflowers aren't chunky. <laughs> so why, why would Sunflora be? That's really my issue with it. Before and after Q commercial for Jim, Sunflora's on treadmills. This could be you, assuming you're a Sunflora. Who needs Mega Evolution when you've got abs? That would go really well in a t-shirt. <laughs> Maybe if one day I, I have a merch store we can talk about having having uh, uh, that on a t-shirt. <clears throat> I'm really happy with this actually. Yeah, look at the difference that makes. Obviously it makes a huge difference on the yellow. Whoops! <laughs> Obviously it makes a huge difference on the yellow, but it makes a difference everywhere else too. Alright, well... I think, I think that's it then. So there we go. This is uh, the final Sunflora. I hope that you enjoy, uh, enjoyed watching this and I hope that you like what I did with the Sunflora, but you can let me know in the comments uh, down below what you think, how it went for you. And I, I will be doing, I think roughly one of these streams per month. Uh, so ultimately one of these videos per month as well. I think we just want to finish Generation 2 before we move on to anything else. So the other two Pokemon from Generation 2 that I'm interested in redesigning are Meganium and Unknown. So I've made a poll on Twitter so that you can vote for which one I should do next. The poll will be up for uh, one week from when this video goes out. So I will announce when the next stream will be uh, a little closer to whenever that's going to happen, but it will probably also be uh, on the last Saturday of February at noon Pacific time. It's probably going to stay the same, but I'm not going to, I don't want to announce it too early just in case we shift things around. Can't believe I forgot to do the outro. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know if you enjoyed it by leaving a like and a comment down below. I'm Umbreon Libris, and I'll see you in the next chapter.